I'm Kevin Roberts. I'm the author of Cyber Junkie, as well as Movers, Dreamers, and Risk Takers. I'm a recovering video game addict, and one of the, the games that I liked were strategy games. So when I stopped playing those games because I had a hard time regulating myself, I started playing other strategy games like chess. And what I found is that strategy games actually make my thinking clearer and more logical. So let's take the example of chess for a second. You don't get better in chess simply by playing. You study the Grand Masters. You get books and look into their strategies and moves and attempt to understand them and then, ultimately, to integrate the lessons that you learn into your own playing. But honestly, going over positions and moves is not sufficient. I mean, even when I played real-time strategy games, I would be a participant and watch other people play, but watching wasn't sufficient. You needed to get into the head of the person, your opponent, whether it's a grandmaster or a computer opponent, whatever, and work at getting a grasp about what that person was thinking, what his or her inner workings were that caused the person to choose a certain move. Strategy is not only a function of coming up with your own plans and actions, but incorporating an understanding of those of your opponent. So becoming adept at strategy games is the most interpersonal of pursuits because you really need to understand the style and emotional underpinnings of your opponent. The quicker you grasp those things, the more successful you're likely to be. If you look back at some of history's great generals, for example, their genius was often rooted in being able to predict their opponent's moves, a capacity that derived, obviously, from the power to perceive the inner workings of that opponent. Think of General Lee, for example, as he faced General McClellan in an army that was almost double his size. Lee understood McClellan and he, understand, he understood his penchant for delay and he used that delay to consistently beat General McClellan. So with yourself and your pursuit of becoming better at strategy games, where do you start? Well, I think you need to understand the history of strategy and in that pursuit I would recommend Sun Tzu's The Art of War, which comes down to three basic principles. Know yourself, know your enemy, and fight only when you can win. This wisdom will serve you well in strategy games, but also it will serve you in business and in any competitive endeavor you engage in. I'm Kevin Roberts. Thank you for watching.